Hey everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I'm back with another review. And today we're taking a look at from the Transformers Kingdom Line. This is Voyager Class Optimus Primal. This is an update to the original Beast Wars Optimus Primal, which actually that mold um, got released uh, quite a few times over the years, and I highly recommend picking up any version of it because it's a really fun figure. Lots of gimmicks and I'll just say it right now, a lot better than this figure is, to the point where I'm not even sure if it was necessary for this figure, for the character to get an update, because I don't see anything on this version of the figure, the character, that um, the does better anything from the original version. Um, here we're starting off in a gorilla mode, I think it's a silverback gorilla, I could be wrong about that, so please don't go ape on me. I know a lot of people love Beast Wars bunches, um, but to me it has no appeal. And I'll stop now with the gorilla and ape puns to point out the fact that you can store the swords here on in gorilla mode. Uh, and since it is a thing, I will point out these are the silver painted versions and not the current white variant that's around. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take those off because as we get into transformation, uh, it will be a bit of an issue. Um, other than that, there's really not a lot of articulation in this mode. And in fact, I, I actually have a hard time getting the gorilla to have all feet on the ground and this and that. I'm sure I'm just not bending something properly, but you can move the arms. There is some movement here in the shoulder. Um, the head is on a ball joint and somewhat expressive. You can have it look up like this. And you do have the bicep joints uh, and swivel. Well, actually, no, you don't. You really can't use the swivel due to the fact that it has robo parts. But you have the bend at the elbow and bends at the wrist. Now, there is a somewhat halfway transformation that um, I guess we'll get into after the jump because we'll do that and then go into robot mode. So, we'll be right back. Okay, so one of my main issues with this figure is there's a lot of work to get a, a lot of nothing. What I mean by that is um, to get this figure to stand, there's a lot of like extra work that I don't think is really necessary because you can just should just be able to stand the figure up. But uh, to get started, um, rotate the fist straight. You can, of course, leave the fist straight if you so desire. Straighten the arms out. Again, you can leave them bent if you so desire. It's not going to affect anything. Um, bring the head down so it's looking somewhat forward. Now what you're next going to do is come back here, straighten the leg out, and what you want to do, see if I did it right, um, no, I didn't, is you basically want to unpeg the knee joint, and then you're going to bring it up and inward so that the knee folds up like that. That basically, when you're looking at it this way, you see the teeth. So you're unpegging the kneecap there, and it might be easier on yours because yours isn't as tight, but then just bring it around. And then you can go ahead and stand the gorilla up just like that. I mean, there is some, unfortunately, the leg movement is kind of locked in because of this back piece here, front piece here, but he stands. I, that was something in the cartoon. Uh, but yeah, we. Um, to finish the transformation to robot mode, go ahead and extend the leg completely on uh, both joints. Uh, just bring it up like that. Like I said, mine are very tight for some reason, and I don't know why. Um, unpeg the panel here, unless it comes unpeg. Uh, unpeg, uh, not unpeg, but lift this panel up to give yourself some room. Go ahead and bring the arms out. Swivel that around. So now um, you basically have what's going to be the robot legs facing forward. Go ahead, bring the feet down. And I do like that they worked in a little bit of a piston gimmick there. And you do have ankle pivot for both modes. 
Now I remember on the original Optimus Primal you were able to fold the feet up. It doesn't work here and you kind of need them down for uh, hip or uh, the um, to have ankles. Um, I guess at this point you can go ahead and bring the gorilla head back up. Now this back piece you want to, once you bring it up like this, rotate it around and it will peg in right here on the back. And next what you want to do is come in underneath here and this piece pegs in to the waist, actually not the waist but the butt, and it pegs in quite tightly. That will allow you to bring the legs back, um, but right now give, give yourself a little room. And then this will allow you to come in and open up the chest. Now, how this works, I'm not 100% sure what it pegs into, but go ahead and open up the chest. Come around the front here. Flip this panel around. Very much, the, this does transform a lot like the original Optimus Primal. Rotate the head around. Bring it down. And then do that. Rotate the whole head segments around. Oh, you know what? I just leave the head out like that. And I think, I, well, oh no, wait, you were supposed to rotate, bring that down just like that. Make sure it tucks in all the way. Bring um, the now, now, if you don't want the shoulder guns out, you can just leave it like this. But seeing as how much work it is to open up these panels, I suggest flipping out the shoulder guns anyway just so you don't have to open up this panel again and the easiest way i found is the way i'm doing it here rotate the head out of the way just to be able to get your thumb in there or finger in there and then come back up and close back up this uh chest piece make sure it's all in bring the guns down and then finally what you can do is friction the shoulder pads into place and sure enough you've got optimus primal the hardest part of the transformation is that whole uh chest uh head thing so ba boom there you have bot not monkey um you can of course return the swords to their storage position here or you can Open the fist slightly and uh, slide the swords in. I do notice they do actually on mine go in somewhat tightly. And I am concerned with paint scraping over time. So just be aware of that. In fact, this one's going to be a hard time now. Go in. Oh, you know, it's... Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to force that or fool with that. I don't understand why it's being so difficult, but eh, there we go. Oh, there we go. So, yeah, you do have the swords. Unfortunately, you cannot combine the swords like you did on the original figure. So let's go ahead and pull these out. Because there is one last gimmick you can do, and that is coming in underneath the forearms. On the bottom here, you can push up, and that will reveal Optimus Primal's animation-accurate wrist blasters. Now, some, these can pull up all the way. Some people are actually uh, have doing like a half thing to make it look like there's less of a gap coming out. But there you go, Optimus's uh, wrist blasters. Um, on the original toy. This was uh, a spring, like the whole hand came down and it was a spring loaded missile launcher. The cannons here were spring loaded, and I kind of miss that. Um, as I said, um, I truly think the original Optimus Primal toy, in it, any version of it, is far better than this, just because you have this pretty much the same articulation, but you also have a bunch of gimmicks. Now, that could also be I'm not that big of a Beast Wars fan, so. You know, I just don't have the connection to this figure that other people do. 
But um, to me, that original toy was good enough, but I am happy that Beast War fans are getting some updates and new releases. Um, there's all, you know, and honestly, if it's between this and the Masterpiece version, I'd get this because it basically does the same thing, just at a cheaper price point. So, yeah, um, I think we'll pause and we'll come back with my final thoughts. So, yeah, I mean, technically, this is a good figure. There's a lot going on here. Um, but for me, it's just not really wowing me. Um, yeah, sure, I know a lot of people have had this figure for a while, so maybe I'm a little late to the party, but also I just don't have the attachment to Beast Wars. So for those of you who are fans of Off the Shelf, Optimus Prime will be going back in its box at the completion of this review since it doesn't fit into the display that I'm working on right now. Not to say I regret having it, but it's just, you know, yeah. Now, I got this figure from the Command Store, or Commander Store, um, this is the, a lot of reviewers have actually discovered this place because they tend to get um, releases a little bit earlier. So if you are interested in um, picking the figure up, you can get it from there. They do have an eBay presence, but this figure should be easy to find now at most retail locations, um, brick and mortar and online. Um, so that's it for the review. If you like this review, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. While I will always appreciate and hold the views in high honor, um, liking, commenting, and subscribing communicates to YouTube's algorithms that um, my videos should be promoted and held in an exalted manner. But as always, I always appreciate the views. If you really want to support the channel, consider joining my Patreon. There's a card here in the corner. It's www.patreon.com slash chuckdog1999. All I ask for is a dollar a month, $12 a year. No thrills, no tears, no special rewards. All you're doing is helping me help you to help me help you continue to bring figures like Optimus Primal and working on the infrastructure of my review space and all the behind the scenes stuff a little bit. But if you can't do the $12 a, a, uh, $12 a year, dollar a month, Watching the videos is more than enough support. Um, please don't consider this e-begging. I mean, if I don't get the money, it's not like I'm going to go away. You guys are stuck with me. So that's about it for Optimus Primal. This is your old pal Chuck, and we will see you next time.